4,090 yards of offense, 45 of the team's 48 total touchdowns, and nine of the team's 12 leading tacklers on defense. They're all gone from Stepanek, graduating from last year's eight-win semifinal team. On paper, there's rightfully some reason for skepticism, but on this field, there's far more optimism than panic. People won't expect us to have a lot of talent. You know, that comes with having new guys, but um, I feel like they're really working, they're putting in hard work, and we're working every day, so we'll be ready. I think the natural thing is people just look at a roster and assume Stepan's gonna struggle this year. Is that the case? No, no, no. It's a new team, things may be rocky, but no. We're gonna, we're gonna stay together as much as we can, and I believe like we're gonna do good this season. Despite all the departures last fall for Stepanak, the Crusaders have a talented core to rebuild around. And after all, this program's gone 82 and 22 over the last 10 full seasons, with four CHSFL titles in that span. We, we put the most kids we've ever put in college in a year. It was 20, 21 kids are gonna play college football from last year's team, which is unbelievable. Over 64 kids playing college football in the last four years, but then some of the juniors didn't get as much time as they would have gotten somewhere else. They get, you know, they got some really, really good players in front of them. And, uh, you know, they, they, the competition in practice every day is great, but it's not the same as playing. Stepping into the limelight for the Crusaders this season is one of the area's premier lineman recruits in DJ Williams, a Yonkers native who committed this summer to play at Boston College. What the skilled players lack in experience, they make up for in explosiveness. Zaire Spellman is a game breaker who caught 35 passes last season, turning into 538 yards and a pair of touchdowns. Jesse Osborne, he's the next one, a junior running back, and he's next in a long line of family running backs. You know, those kids rise into the, the top, you know. Um, you know, uh, Jesse Osborne is going to be, um, you know, he's going to be as good a back as they're in this, in this area. He's um, fast, he's tough, he's, uh, he's going along with the rest of the Osborne family. This team is going to be really good because it's a lot of new guys that want to that wanna win. I feel like these guys really, really take it serious and they've seen last year's team, how they, how they had all the talent in the world everybody going Division One. They see it now that everybody, they want that opportunity to go Division One. So I feel like they see that they lost and they had the most talent, that it's not only talent, that is hard work as well. Taking over a quarterback for record-setting passer Will Currid will be Mason Hoover, a first-year starter for the Crusaders who transferred in after starting the past two seasons at Newburgh. Garrison Heslop headlines a step back defense that figures to be among the league's best this season thanks to an experienced secondary. Heslop, a Division I recruit, fills this unit with the likes of Julian Ramos, a linebacker, and Kamari Ginyard and Elias Murray on the line, comprise a defense that's prepared for what's ahead. You know, guys haven't played last year and they're coming to Star and Rose. We can definitely make a legacy. Um, people are not going to expect us to have a great season, but I feel like we really worked up to it and we're going we're gonna to be there this year. Stepanak opens the season with one of the toughest schedules of any team in New York State. They play two national opponents, McDonough of Maryland on Friday, and then another Maryland powerhouse in Archbishop Spalding the following week. Spalding is currently ranked number 30 in the nation. The Crusaders then come home to face New Jersey power St. Joseph Regional in week three, before hosting rival Iona Prep in week four. Your team has to mature faster, get ready faster, play faster. 2014 and 2015, I know we've had this conversation, I don't think there was many more talented teams around. And those kids went to Stony Brook and Rhode Island and places like that, you know. Now our kids are getting recruited by BC and, and you know, Duke and Wake Forest and, and you know, and I, it's kind of opened the eyes of the country when you go play this kind of schedule.